Hey, hello, Reefers. This is Ash, aka Mr. Khan, coming back at you from Toronto again. Uh, hoping everybody is having a fantastic summer so far. Uh, I've been very happy with the summer in Toronto as well. As far as uh, you know, minus 30s and minus 40 wind chill are not here. I will take it. Uh, coming back to the system, it has been doing great. There has been uh, literally no changes whatsoever. Um, you know, just uh, letting the colos grow and watching the system grow overall. Um, other than that, uh, yes, I did add a couple of uh, corals. Uh, one of the uh, you know smaller little colony of Eflo, uh, which is actually right now sitting right beside my that green uh, 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 green stack. Uh, and uh, yeah, one more thing I would like to mention is I'm trying to go for a skimmer shopping yes uh, the current skimmer that i have been running on my system is a turbo floater 1000 ml which i bought it when i originally started in this hobby and i believe uh, this skimmer has done its job so far but lately i have been having a lot of wet skim and i have to adjust the air flow up and down try to move the pump up and down so I'm looking uh, to go for uh, you know skimmer shopping. I have done my research. I uh, pretty much narrowed down to two now. Uh, either the Bubble Magus uh, Curve 9 with the DC pump or the new in the market Coral Box uh, Cloud 9. I know a couple of uh, reefers that has been using this uh, and yeah, you know I have approached them just waiting for them to get back to me. But uh, a shout out to Leo Pazzo who has actually done uh, a very good video uh, reviewing the uh, Coral Box Cloud 9 and uh, you know that has pretty much uh, making me to go that route as well. Uh, the good thing is uh, the uh, air intake on its uh, Jibao or a Jacquard pump is 1450 liters per hour which is uh, the biggest uh, feature that I'm looking at when I compare it to Bubble Magus. But again, uh, you know, Bubble Magus has been in the market for uh, quite some time. Coral Box is new, so you have to pick and choose. Uh, uh, if you guys have anybody, uh, you know, if you guys have used any of the skimmers and if you guys have any reviews, anything that you guys might want to share, uh, please go ahead and uh, comment below. That would greatly be appreciated. It would make my decision a bit easier. I have been on the Reef Central as well as the GTA Aquaria, you know, posting and uh, get, you know, gathering as much knowledge as possible. And people have been very friendly, very, very informative. So I do appreciate uh, all of the people who has responded well. Uh, I have not reached out to my YouTube uh, subscribers and friends. So, but uh, you know, uh, here I am trying to see what uh, you guys think. Uh, shall I go with the skimmer? Keeping in mind the budget as well as uh, the uh, the uh, you know well worth i would say between bubble magus curve 9 and uh, the cloud 9 from coral box uh, other than that guys uh, as you guys can see on the right hand side the uh, wild colony of uh, uh, the millipora has uh, colored up uh, it's nice green with uh, red tips pinkish red so that tells me that it has colored up and i'm happy that the wild millipora is doing well because uh, I've heard that the uh, wild colonies usually struggle uh, to uh, adapt to the system in as compared to the aquaculture corals. Uh, the other thing I would say uh, to any newcomers in this hobby is uh, once again patience is the key. The other day I was trying to uh, trying to uh, you know compare the growth rate in my tank of the corals and I went four or five months back and uh, you know check some of the videos and the pictures that I had taken of my corals and I can tell you I was I was surprised to see the difference in the growth um, you know you look at your system on a daily basis you don't know how much growth you are achieving but if you really uh, you know go back some months and take you know kind of uh, create uh, statistics and save those pictures from the past and present and you will see uh, how your system is progressing I for once I can tell you that the system has progressed well uh, since I'm able to uh, get hold of my nitrates and uh, added the new sump early in this year and um, you know the things have been looking good um, other than that uh, there has been no change whatsoever uh, here it is my colony of green stack this is my favorite colony 
it's been doing great growing well you could see the white tips and right beside there you can see the uh, small little colony of aflo it's uh, it's really a beautiful colony it has a nice bluish tint on its edges so i'm hoping it should color up i just added it last week and uh, here right in the middle is my uh, blue vadila uh, with purple tips that has been uh, growing as well oh right here is mr uh, Square spot Antia, my wife's favorite fish, always keeps coming. Um, in addition to that, uh, I recently added uh, 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 overflow, uh, not overflow. I'm sorry. I recently added uh, Eheim auto feeder uh, on top of my canopy, so that takes care of uh, feeding my Antias and uh, Chromis. And then change some kind of you know aquascape a little bit on this side for those of you who have seen my videos in the past they might have seen where this colony of uh, mystic monty was and how there was a big large colony of the bird's nest coming out uh, i had to break that bird's nest colony and trade it for half of it kept the half of it and you know while i was at it i made some changes on my uh, on my aquascape as well here is the side view on from the other side as well and there you can see the uh, right in the middle the uh, Wadila colony with nice bluish purple uh, tips on it and once again Mr. Uh, Square Spot is saying hi so uh, coming back to uh, the aquarium I have not shared my frag tank right here it's a small little 15 to 20 gallon frag tank with a small little refugium at the back custom built and for now it's not a frag tank it's holding on to stuff uh, which i kind of moved out from my main display trying to create some uh, space so it is holding a squamosa cl clam and a couple of uh, you know lps uh, softies so uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, you know once again thanks for stopping by uh, don't mind the shaking of the video because i had a small little accident over the summer while playing cricket and I'm on cast right now so with one hand I'm trying to record the video uh, so I you know do excuse me if uh, the video is a bit shaken and once again guys thanks for stopping by uh, until next video happy reefing